Hey there YouTube, MS Firefighter 662 here, bringing you another DIY video. This is a battery pack I built to charge uh, tablets, phones, cameras, and run uh, AC, anything that runs off 110 AC when I don't have access to grid power or a generator. This bag is about uh, 12 inches by approximately 9, and it has a little bit of gravity in it, it weighs about 30 pounds. It's because it's got four uh, 8 amp 12 volt batteries inside of it, and also a uh, power converter, a power inverter, it's a uh, 400 watt. Uh, what I really liked about this one was it has four USB outputs on it. So there's two on this side, and they each put out to, up to 2.4 amps. And then this one here, this side has 2.4 amps uh, divided by the two. So you could do one amp here up to 2.4, or any combination of the two, plus the uh, two 110 outlets. And what is another good f feature of this one, it does have a cooling fan on the back, but it doesn't uh, operate the cooling fan unless you have the switch turned on to activate these 110 outlet outputs. So you can charge your smart devices without wasting electricity to run that cooling fan. It has a couple of fuses in here. That's part of uh, some of the extra accessories. I keep some extra fuses in there. And it has, this one came with uh, two different types of leads. I chose alligator clips. Just clip those right on here and use it. So this thing will charge an iPad Mini 3 uh, from 20% or less all the way up to 100%, approximately 11 times. And also at the same time, uh, charge an iPhone 5S from 20% or less up to 100% approximately 13 to 15 times all that on one charge within the battery pack. Uh, it takes about, depends on what charger you use to uh, recharge this pack, it takes about four to five hours uh, depending on how many amps you're putting back into it. And all four of these batteries are wired in parallel so positive to positive to positive and so forth and they're all connections are all soldered in together with a little shrink wrap and zip ties to uh, tidy it up and I just left it with a couple of uh, connectors on the end so I can hook them or blade type so I can hook up anything to it that way uh, for accessories that I might want to do in the future but for the uh, power inverter part of it I just clamp it onto any one of the two terminals as long as they're uh, the right polarity. Um, in the field if I need to charge it I've got a uh, solar panel it's a uh, four panel solar panel that uh, is uh, it claims it's uh, 27 watt max with a 12 volt output um, about 15 uh, volts up to a little bit more and I've done some testing in the uh, direct sunlight here in Tennessee and um, I got about two amps out of it was the max that I could get and it did have a pretty high voltage but it didn't have it under load when I was testing the voltage uh, just the amperage with the multimeter and this thing works pretty well uh, in the sun and also inside of it it has a pouch here if you guys can see in there there's two USB outputs and you see it's got a little light on it's actually producing a little current from what's going with the light in here in the room so this thing works pretty good other than it's uh, heavy and cumbersome to uh, carry with you but in a pinch when you know you're uh, kind of going to be in the same spot for a while and you're not trying to carry this thing around uh, with you everywhere you go. It's a great thing to charge up your devices if you're camping or uh, just out in the field sometime uh, where you know you're not going to have access to 110 volt power to charge your devices. Uh, things that I bought specifically for this project uh, was a power inverter and some extra wire uh, for the project. The uh, batteries in the case are all something I've acquired over the years. Um, there's a fine line between a pack rat and uh, just knowing you're going to need something for a project to include the case. Those are just things I've acquired over time. If you're to go buy the equivalent to this online, uh, the closest thing I think that's a good brand is the uh, Goal Zero Yeti 400. It's a 33 uh, amp hour. This is, if you do the math, adding up the batteries, it's approximately 32. Uh, that one online is about 460 bucks to 500 dollars or more, depending on where you source it from. So, in this project, since I acquired a lot of this for free, I've got with the power burning wire about 60 bucks into it. And it was a fun little project. It works great. I've taken it with me a couple places and used it um, and used this solar panel to charge. If you're trying to charge it up solely with the solar panel, it's going to take forever. I'd, my estimate by doing a little rough math, probably 18 hours or more in uh, good direct sunlight to charge this thing up with the solar panel. So I appreciate your viewership. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please take the time and log on YouTube and subscribe. If you thought I earned your thumbs up, do that as well. If you have questions or comments, suggestions on how to improve this thing, this is the uh, quick impromptu put together. I'd love to hear it. If you have some uh, things that you've done, I'd love to hear those as well in the description or the comment section down below. And as always, thank you for watching.